Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Happy Friday to everyone out there. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, Zach's exes speak out. Jess Gerard says, I was definitely blindsided. She says, you know what? I kind of saw it coming, but I was blindsided. And I'm like, well blindsiding means you didn't see it coming. But either way, I digress. I'm going to get into this article and what they said at the Women Tell All. We have some interviews coming out from the Women Tell All. Uh, Jess and Allie both dismissed. By the way, I have a burn coming in. This is not good. Can you see my head, Tasha? Oh, boy. I am not doing well here. Aloe Vera Dave is not. And the lighting that I just did makes me look worse. Oh, boy. Leave a comment. Pray for me. I put sunblock on. The humidity is going to get me. We're going to have a we're going to have a Columbia all over again. <laughs> this is not good. Okie dokie, folks. Either way, here to make some uh, content for you. Before I get to this article about Zach's ex is speaking out. I want to share the funniest clip I heard all week. This is Jess and Evan from your mom and dad. And maybe this is just very narcissistic of me to think this is the best clip I found all week because they talk about me. But pretty funny. Have a listen. Okay, yes. I wanted yeah. to talk about the ick because yeah. I actually was listening to uh, Dave Neal's Bachelor Rush Hour podcast, which Dave... By the way, she's like, I, I want to talk about the ick, which reminds me of Dave Neal. Came on the podcast last week. He was amazing. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much to Dave. Um, it was awesome. He's he's by the way the reviews that we got for your mom and dad last week for the podcast. I mean, I think people that f with Jess and Evan are the type of people that f with me. I think we have a very a common denominator with our audience. But you guys were so kind to leave nice reviews. Just what I'm blown away with him is that he he his speed. I know. which he he's cut, so like things quick. come into his brain and then he's able to articulate. I know. I, it was actually a moment I felt a little insecure. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was like going like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, I, then I cut cut to me. And which, I, by the way, plenty of people tell me to slow down. And he's like, yeah, so I they feel like this is a compliment, but also it's like, Dave, maybe less caffeine. Felt half speed. <laughs> you were in slow motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he goes, you know, and the thing is, and I was thinking about this and this and this, and here are these four correlations to this. And I go, and for me, <laughs> the crazy thing is poop. Like it felt like that. You know what I mean? Like it just like, and I literally, after I said that sentence, I was like, anyway, back to you. Like, oh, sorry. Sorry, I should have said anything. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> me <was> like <laughs> poop. So oh. I, I remember looking over to you at one point and seeing a little bit of the insecurity yeah, like, in your oh, eyes. God. I was like, no. I'm just out absolutely in a race and I'm losing so bad right no, now. I, thought, I, th I, th I think I said in the interview, I was like, I think Evan and I are boyfriend and boyfriend now. I think we're official after that. I think I was like, I think we're buddies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless him. He is I so like quick. I Cheez-Its. How about you, Dave? He's like, anyway, Cheez-Its, you know they're made from it. You know, you bake them three times. <laughs> And then they're not like, giving himself enough credit. They run a fantastic show. Joke, joke, yeah, joke, yeah, joke, joke. Like, and I'm it. like, anyway, <laughs> back to you. <laughs> 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 well, I was wa or listening, excuse me, to Dave's podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour. So good. Yeah. And he had on Dr. Diane um, at Back to Love Doc. And they were discussing the whole Greer Zach conversation. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. fantastic. You have to listen to the episode. Oh, look at this amazing promo we're getting. Do I owe Jess money now for promoting the channel? Thank you so much, Jess. Uh, and speaking of Jess, we've got Jess Gerard. Uh, so not only was Greer. I don't know, unceremonial. Well, I don't want to say unceremoniously kicked off. Apparently, she's still on the show. She just had COVID. Literally, uh, Greer's the only example where COVID kept her around longer. Because she got COVID, she has not been kicked out of the show just yet. Either way, um, we're going to get into this article right now because Greer, along with Anastasia, and along with um, uh, who else? Who else was uh, kicked off the show kind of like unceremoniously? Um, there, lots of others have had to deal with uh, sort of short-tempered, uh, or at least short with his words, Zach. So Bachelor contestants Jess Girod and Allie Jacobs both blindsided by Zach Shalcross, sending them home. And I'm going to get into this. And by the way, I, literally, as you're watching this video of me, you're seeing my sunburn come in. I just got back from the pool here. We're about to go out to dinner because it's Friday. No, what is it today? Today's Friday evening in Bali. But for you guys, it's actually like early morning in, in America, so you're going to see this a few hours late uh, in the Americas. Um, 
Uh, anyway, here we go. Ready or not, it was time for Jess and Allie to say their goodbyes on the Monday, February 27th episode of The Bachelor. I definitely was blindsided. Jess, 23 years young, exclusively told Us Weekly of Zach Shellcross at the recent Women Tell All taping in L.A. Throughout our journey, he always reassured me and validated me. He always told me everything's going to be okay and to just kind of hold out, hold on. So as time went on and I wasn't getting that special quality time with him, I was definitely in my head like what am I missing here there's nothing being communicated that's wrong so in a way I saw it coming because it just wasn't adding up but yeah I definitely was blindsided still (laughs) god bless Jess that's being like yeah this car came out of nowhere and hit me I was blindsided I saw it coming to me and then it hit me it's like did you see it coming or not so it's it seems like Jess in her female intuition, women's intuition, saw it coming. But it's, you know, women with their women's, it's always like women, I've got female intuition. It's like you've been dating the same jabroni for seven years now and you don't like the guy. Where's your intuition? Anyway, so here she is. Uh, You know, sometimes when I have these nothing articles, I just feel the need to, you know, uh, uh, sprinkle in some uh, some more nothingness. Zach, 26. Uh, these kids are so young. I, I hate to be like the old man on the porch. Jess is only 23. She's got her whole life ahead of her. She can't even rent a car yet. Zach sent Jess home during the evening portion of the group date uh, after she expressed concerns about not receiving a one-on-one date yet. So Jess clearly knew her time was short. And I've seen so many funny memes about it being like, what did Jess expect? private quality time with the guy she was about to marry the exit was frustrating on both ends i i don't know if she means a a, a gi system like uh is this a gastrointestinal issue or uh the exit was frustrating because i'll tell you what i was traveling on a flight um to uh bali for a 20 hour straight and i was also frustrated on both ends all right folks Telling us that they were both confused during their chat. It wasn't a good feeling to sit with me because it was like, well, what could I have done better? What could I have said better? Should I have fought for him? But also, I want someone to fight for me. So it was a very weird place that we left off. And I have to say, this is the old dilemma that exists on The Bachelor, is that you have a show where 30-plus women fight for a man, when in reality usually the man's the one fighting for the woman. Not to be sexist, I don't need to be old sexist Dave over here, but I don't think The Bachelor works too often because it puts the guy into a position of power that usually when you put men into positions of power, I mean, look, traditionally, we, you know, you know, colonialism and, uh, you know, uh, Clayton, I mean, <laughs> Chris Harrison, you put guys in positions of power, bad things can happen. No offense to Clayton. I just don't think he's ever had three women uh, trying to sleep with him at the same time. He didn't know what to do. He was like a kid in the candy shop, and he couldn't say no. Um, I mean, he could, he could have, uh, but he didn't, and that's okay, too. Uh, so anyway, Jess wants a man to fight for her. Is that too much to ask for? Things got tense between Jess and Zach as he didn't understand why she was putting so much emphasis on the idea of a solo date. <laughs> so what an idiot. While he ended things amid conversation, she told us that it was 100% a misunderstanding between the pair. Yeah, Zach is good at ending things mid-conversation and if you watch my other video from this morning I had uh, Katie um, Katie from his season explaining when they did their uh, one-on-one date that they had at um, the at the museum and they slept overnight there uh, Katie said that Zach just in the middle of the date was like good night and then they went to bed it's like I don't know if he I don't know he's not he, he's not a man who uses many words I'll tell you that Jess said this with her platitudes. I think he's an amazing guy. I think he was doing the best he could in the moment. I was doing the best that I could in the moment. We both just weren't understanding each other. Uh, no, you didn't understand that he tried to keep you along and keep you around, but he wasn't willing to give you one of his first seven one-on-one dates. Good grief. You're better, Jess. You don't need him. So anyway, it doesn't mean that I was in the right and he was in the wrong, like there was no right or wrong. He was speaking his truth. I was speaking mine the best that we could, so I was not ever upset with him. It was more of just like, I wish we could have understood each other. Uh, Well, look, I mean, your intuition was spot on, Jess. Was he even going to give you a rose that night? Maybe so, but uh, if you weren't in the the next, uh, if you weren't in the on-deck circle, 
as far as uh, one-on-one dates go, then uh, you you did the right thing there, Toots. All right. So anyway, here she had here she, here's what she said when her time was over. Sometimes it just takes putting yourself out there on national TV to realize you need to give yourself some grace for doing your best and love on yourself just a little bit more. Thank you for the to the mountains of incredible people that have comforted me throughout this journey, from the best production team to the strongest group of women I know. I am overjoyed. Wishing nothing but happiness for Zach and the rest of these amazing women. Can't wait to continue cheering you on from the sidelines. And then she posted these amazing photos. Let's go back here. Uh, if you're listening on Bachelor Rush Hour, it's just a group photo of the ladies, and then it's uh, her photo that with uh, you know holding Sage with Zach. Uh, couldn't smudge that uh, bad attitude. And then there they are. The candle goes out, and then at the very end, uh, what does she say here? Let's listen. <laughs> oh, oh wow. yeah, you do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love Taylor. Swift. <laughs> All right, so hey, there it is. Jess is a Swifty. Good for her. And then um, she posted a very funny photo. I don't know where it went. Uh, hey, let, let, boys. Oh, here, here she is. Sorry, I'm taken. Hello, boys. Sorry, I'm taken. Not taken anymore. Hello, boys. And then there they are in the double decker bus. And then her last photo she posted. End meeting for all or leave meeting? She put the arrow to leave meeting, uh, which of course everyone said hilarious. Jessica Girod, aka Jess, said London was sick and so was Zach. And that's the end of Jess's story. Will we see her on Paradise? My guess is yes. I hope she wears sunblock, maybe a better sun protectant factor than I did. I wore SPF 30, but your boy did a couple laps in the pool. Maybe it wasn't uh, waterproof. Either way, if you want to check out uh, my um, Patreon, I've got this full video right here of a tour of my jungle suite. We have a treehouse essentially we are up here in the canopy of the jungle in the center of bali check this out i'll give you five seconds set this for me yeah. all right ladies and gentlemen all right so i have a seven minute video so there it is folks you can go see the full tour look at that bathtub is that not the nicest bathtub i still haven't gone in it yet i'm afraid when i fill it up with water it's just going to crash through the floor it's so heavy it's made out of stone either way that's going to be it for me i got one more piece of content coming your way so make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to check that out also go to patreon.com slash dave neal for behind the scenes content like this video right here and also bachelor rush hour the afternoon podcast you're going to want to get over there for some unique stories some extra bonus content for you over there on the podcast bachelor rush hour we'll be back right after this